for a female player to win a national college cornhole championship. Now, I ask you this all the time. I mean, these players are so good. Literally can just go hole for hole, right? But when they throw one that short right on the Hellman's logo, is that intentional, that short block? I don't think it's intentional. It's definitely not intentional. Look, you're up 14 to 2. That's one of, ooh. Now, I was just going to say it's either nerves or you just held it up a little bit and it hit the dead spot kind of on the front of the board there. But now she's in a little bit of trouble. If she can clean up and, and just give up a five, even with four rounds to go after this one, giving up five points is not the end of the world. And puts that one right in the lane of Fagan, who had hit his first two in. Now Fagan's going back in the center. If he, was, if he stepped out, it would tell me he was going to try to go around it, but now he's going back out there. He chooses to block behind it. Now he's essentially saying, Kimberly Jenkins, if you want points, you're going to have to airmail it. There's that conservatism, though. She says, fine, I'll take my three-point round. This is a big airmail. This is a seven-point airmail here if you can hit it. Last bag, and he hits it off the backside. Huge shot for Fagan. And it's going to be a seven-point round, and all of a sudden now 14 to nine. Right back in this game, set up by the block. He goes up, backside, banks off the back rim, and a little fist pump to go with it. 